My name is Fifi Beidou, and I'm going to talk briefly on the types of people that affect innovation. Innovation is very critical to a country's development, and while many factors affect the success of this happening, I would limit my talk to three main kinds of people. When we had the idea to start iSpace, we were very excited about it. This is because we knew very well we're going to have a great effect in the ecosystem and how people innovated. We talked to all kinds of people to be sure the idea would work. This was very good because we were convinced right away that people needed us, at least for what we stood for in the ecosystem. We did all, all that we could to make sure that iSpace happened. Little did we know that the people that we talked to were, the, were the, the kind of people that I'm talking about, the talkers. We did our research around many people, but the talkers kept getting our attention. The talkers are those I would describe as having a million ideas and call themselves innovators and entrepreneurs sometimes without having taking any step at all to executing their ideas. They like the idea of entrepreneurship, but prefer their night to five. There's really nothing wrong with being a talker, because while they keep talking about their many ideas, the next kind of people who affect innovation, the dreamer, are most likely to pick these up and then try executing it. The talkers are everywhere, from politics, in our schools, and even in our churches. The dreamer, who is a parallel entrepreneur, takes the idea to start something further. They sometimes have valid reasons for not taking the risk and jumping right into their ideas full time. And this is okay, especially in an environment where everything is designed to break the the spirit of the entrepreneur. They work full-time and so work on their ideas and business part-time. As and when they are able to steal some time from their employers and squeeze time after work and on weekends sometimes. And then our favorite kind of people, the full-time entrepreneurs, the risk takers. They go against all the obstacles in starting a business in our environment. These guys go right into business with no excuses. In some cases, they were once dreamers who graduated into doers. They have the attitude to do things and get things done regardless. If we had many of these doers in our country, a lot of things would be so much better. We do need many of these guys, and I'm talking about the doers. It's sometimes very possible to have people transition from talking to dreaming about their ideas to actually doing and getting things done. If you're in any of these categories besides a doer and want to be an innovator or an entrepreneur, I will urge you to put down the many foreign motivational books you have been reading. They hardly apply to our environment anyway, and just do it. Thank you.